Good morning, everyone from Washington, D.C. It's my pleasure to join you for the fourth annual XR Access Symposium. My name is Taryn Williams, and I'm the Assistant Secretary leading the Office of Disability Employment Policy, or ODEP. For those of you not familiar with ODEP, we are a sub-cabinet agency within the U.S. Department of Labor, and we report directly to the Secretary. ODEP is proud to support XR Access through one of our initiatives, the Partnership on Employment and Accessible Technology, or PEAT. I want to thank Bill Curtis Davidson and Ashley Coffey for your ongoing leadership in XR Access. I would also like to thank Dr. Sherry Azencott, Associate Professor at Cornell Tech, for inviting me to speak today. As a co-founder of XR Access, we appreciate your leadership with the whole team at Cornell Tech. Convening researchers from around the globe is a key step toward making XR tools accessible from the start. Finally, I want to thank Larry Goldberg, former head of accessibility at Yahoo, for co-founding XR Access and channeling energy toward a more accessible future of work for people with disabilities. Your commitment to help launch and grow XR Access has been critical to its success. The XR Access Symposium is always an exciting event. At ODEP, we believe collaboration is the root of progress and your work is a perfect example. This community represents the foremost thinkers and actors who are making XR tools inclusive. Today, I want to renew our vision for XR Access in light of everything we've experienced in the past year. I don't need to convince you that many industries are still figuring out how to manage the shift toward hybrid workplaces. It's one of the top workforce trends we see in 2022 and one of the biggest question marks. Some organizations are going remote full time while others are returning to the office. Many of us fall somewhere in between with a few days teleworking and a few days on site. We're still figuring out the details, but the big picture is clear. Hybrid collaboration and productivity are here to stay. My own agency, ODEP, is developing best practices for hybrid work that we can use internally to navigate this transition. Our goal is to make hybrid work inclusive, to fully leverage the skills that people with disabilities bring to our jobs. ODEP will continue to explore ways to advance inclusive hybrid work policies across the country. XR Access is deeply involved in making hybrid work inclusive. These efforts build knowledge, skills, and tools to make XR accessible for everyone, regardless of individual abilities. As we launch this year's symposium, I want to renew the call to action. Let's work together to make accessibility a key pillar of the shift toward hybrid work. A hybrid workplace is only successful when it fully engages the skills of people with disabilities alongside everyone else. This message is urgent and XR Access has the tools and resources to support this vision. We've already come a long way. In the past year, your hard work has led to major strides in advancing XR accessibility policies and practices. I'd like to illustrate with a few examples of our community achievements. XR Access has expanded to include over 500 members across the public, private, and nonprofit organizations. This includes participation from Meta, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, and other leading companies. XR Access has also formed a strong partnership with the XR Association. 
This trade association represents the growing ecosystem of XR technology companies, powering virtual, augmented, and mixed reality tools. Together, we launched a, a GitHub site to serve as a central repository of accessibility solutions for developers working in XR. Over the past year, members of XR Access have delivered trainings and served as mentors in key immersive technology innovations. This includes the Verizon Ford for Good Accelerator on Disability Innovation and the MIT Reality Hack. During the last event, one of the winners created a way to promote more inclusive user testing in virtual reality. This innovation enables users to give feedback in VR for user researchers to view in a web-based dashboard. In addition, a project led by the Business Cases for Inclusive XR work stream with support from ODEP's Partnership for Employment and Accessibility technology, again known as P, has been researching the value of inclusive XR in the workplace. We're gathering evidence that accessible technology is critical to new hybrid work practices. This research leveraged Pete's most recent toolkit, the Inclusive XR and Hybrid Work Toolkit. This resource can help businesses understand the value of using accessible XR technologies in hybrid work environments. It provides practices employers can follow in key areas like immersive meetings and collaborations. And you can find this toolkit on Pete's website at peteworks.org. It's wonderful to reflect on this progress over the past year. It reminds us that XR Access plays a unique and critical role in research and technology development. It is the main community dedicated to making XR tools accessible and inclusive for all, bringing people with disabilities to the table at every single step. The accessibility expertise provided by XR Access is a valuable asset to the broader XR community. This year, those involved with this effort have met with mainstream XR developers, researchers, and advocates, and spoken at major conferences. These efforts are expanding awareness about the importance of including people with disabilities in the design and development of immersive technologies. Advancing diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility is a familiar drive for XR access. As much as we talk about accessibility, it's important to remember that disability intersects with all aspects of human diversity. As a community, we cross all racial, gender, educational, socioeconomic, and organizational lines. So our work must be inclusive of all underrepresented and marginalized communities. If it isn't, then we will not achieve our collective goal to advance equity and effectively serve people with disabilities. As you engage in this symposium, I challenge you to consider all angles of equity, not just the ones you understand personally. Ask yourselves, how can my piece of technology work for people with sensory disabilities? How can my corporate culture ensure that hiring and advancement decisions are equitable for people of color? What can I do to make space for marginalized voices in hybrid work meetings? This brings me back to my call to action for the coming year. As we settle into hybrid work, let's document and share inclusive strategies to foster collaboration and productivity to help organizations understand the technologies and interpersonal tactics that can help make hybrid work successful. Thank you all so much for your dedication to accessibility, and I look forward to seeing all of the progress you'll make this year. Thank you.